We've had an opportunity today to come up a glacial valley. We've been on a huge truck up on top of the ice cap and we've just had an opportunity to spend an hour underneath the glacier, which is a really unique opportunity. You can barely do it anywhere else in the world and it's the largest system where you can wander in, you can see all the layers of the glacier. We've got this ice, we've got ash layers, we can pick out individual ash events. For me personally, see the system change over time. It's starting to get a bit smaller in places. They've had to carve out other parts of the system again. So among the things that have been really important for us as guides is to inform people coming into the glacier about the dynamics of the system that they're in. So this glacier is a temperate glacier. Internally, it's got a constant zero degree centigrade, both in summer and in winter, which means that there's water dynamics throughout the system. We have river systems run underneath, which allow the glacier to migrate down the hill under its own weight as they go through the tunnel system. So this ice cap won't actually be here in 75 years. And there is an element of geography where we do look at some negative issues, but I think it needs to be framed within a positive framework. We've got to think about what we can do to prevent some of these things happening. So I'm hoping today students will have felt perhaps a little bit sad about what's gone on, will have come up here and maybe even felt some responsibility for what's going on. And they take home those messages and they make more sensible decisions moving forwards with their lives.